Put two puts to counter arc warden. I know, right? You know what would make the meta more balanced? I think making knights and scrappies lower tier units might make the meta a bit more balanced. The reason why warriors are so OP is because there's so many cheap warriors. Like, you can get the war series too early, right? But it's so hard to get scrappies too early, right? For example. I got two star arc, one with Dalus, one with Scotty. Oh, thumbs up, man, dude. That must feel amazing. Super GG. Anything way to nerf Arc Warden is if his clone, the main Arc Warden, should lose some HP dies. That'd be nice too. If the main dies, the clone dies. Oh, Brutes! Shall we go for a Brute game, guys? Ho ho! Let's go for a Brute game. I do enjoy Brute games. Brownies, let's go, let's go! Well, I locked three tinies. Go for Legion. <laughs> Would I lock three tinies turn one? Sure, why not? Let's go for a brute start, guys. Let's make a point. That's right, I'm a brute spammer, guys. I mean, if the clone dies, the main R should lose some HP too. Understandable. Let's go, team. Let's go. Let's spam. Let's spam these, like, axes. Dude, armor is good on axe now. Since he gains more armor. Axe three star is ridiculous. Thank you, guys. Like. Stream until rank lore today. I'll probably just hit big boss five and then the stream maybe. Like, probably. Like the reason is because um the reason is because um um right now League of Legends World semifinals going on. <laughs> kind of want to see that. Don't you think Bruce are kind of weak because they only reduce damage in melee? But they don't reduce the damage from range attack, that's correct. That's the uh, main issue with Brutes at the moment. Okay, Brutes, get the kills. Get the kills, boy. Alright, auto deploy. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I forgot about auto deploy. Alright, we got three kills, yay. If we get Beastmaster, that'd be nice. Beastmaster and Life Sucker. Life Seal, I mean. <laughs> Not Life Sucker. <laughs> oh, man. They're all going warriors and whatnot, aren't they? I shall show them the power of the brutes. <laughs> huh, X! Darn it. <laughs> Beastmaster. Ooh. Beastmaster. Hmm. Punch. Beastmaster. This is too stronger. <laughs> this is too much stronger for me to just give up. <laughs> but who knows, this might happen. Brawny hunters, right? Alright, he has two warriors too. That's right, we hooked the Underlord. But the Underlord's getting ignored, huh? Alright, we're healing. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh no, they're getting ignored. Let's teach these people a thing or two about cool Oh Chaotic Hunter. Okay. Oh wait, that's five hundred. Mario versus Luigi? Back to the old good stuff, I know right. So which underlord is better? Game so complicated right now. Oh, my next is far better. <laughs> I don't have a con to buy these. Okay. Oh wait. Don't hook my girl. No. We traded girls, but oh wait, we didn't really trade girls. Oh wow. <laughs> she wants the girl. Alright. 
All right, fudge with the carry. Good job, boy. Can't say I planned this. <laughs> I was surprised too, you know. I wanted to go for you, but then this guy showed up. We traded girls, guys. Pudge loves that girl, dude. He's not letting her go, ever. All right. Happens sometimes. Thumbs up. Shadow Demon's a good support. I could also level for... Oh, another Beastmaster. Cool. I actually never go for stuff like Beastmasters, but... Hmm. I could just try to add one in here. Why not? Oh, no, no. Ogre is better, honestly. Ogre with the uh, buffs are better. Shadow Shock is good, too. Draw for Heartless. Oh, Shadow Demon gives Heartless. Shadow Demon is also a demon, which makes my next discharge faster. Alright, good throw. We're doing damage, good. So my uh, next assault is really fast, right? Ogre just buffs my team oh, constantly, which gives him value. I can sell the Ogre again for the Beastmaster again too. Because I'm eventually going to sell them all for economy. But if I find a Beastmaster, I can use him until mid game. As like a potential Hunter unit too. Got him. Punched with the value. Demons affect a Nexus have- Oh, it's very simple, sir. How it works is, um, a Nexus has a passive called, uh, passive ability. <laughs> a Nexus generates a base of 1.8 hypersecond with an additional 0.72 hypersecond for each ally demon on the board, alright? So, the more, like, ally demons you have on the board, the more hype he uh, regenerates. That's how it works. Yep. I, I didn't read it first either, so it's perfectly understandable that you didn't read that. Like, but that's, there's a, f a function like that. <laughs> I know, right? Haha. -ha. I didn't read that either at first. So, but there is something like that. Where is a brawny build? They disappeared. I don't know. Like, so somehow, like, they, they ran away and gold showed up <laughs> out of nowhere. No, not my girl. Darn it. He didn't trade his girl. That's not good. Oh, I broke him. Nice. But... He's not hitting my Pudgy though. He's hitting the other units. Alright. We lost. What's a good amount of demons for a Nexus? What is a good amount of demons for a Nexus? What is good enough, I think? Ouch. Next update, Pudge can hook allies. Maybe. You know, if my opponents are gonna be here, then you know, let's just put my units here then. More in the front. I'll put my Nexus a bit in the front too. Like this. This sounds okay. Now I get the Axe and the Magnus. Sardar, I'm not the Beastmaster. From the Black Death. From the Black Death. So he could have showed up. So they would have showed up round eight. <laughs> the Axe and the Beastmaster too. Oh, there are two people with one streak. All right. All right, we got the Underlord. So this positioning was a lot better. I think these like mini positionings also matter a lot in the early game stages for like a win streak or not. Oh, Shadow Demon two star though. So strong. But Pudge 2 start too strong. Thank god one guy lost his streak while well, the other guy. It'd be nice if he lost his streak too. Nope. No Dude, what are you doing, Chinese guy? I did my part. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep this going. Yeah, I think this position is a bit better. Put the um, Nexus a bit more in the front. A touche. Next update, Pudge can hook allies, so it hooks the furthest unit away. <laughs> oh man, positioning more is done. Sounds fun. I have all these pairs, so I'm actually in a good position. It's okay to lose next fight too. Thankfully one guy's not gonna have an insane economy, but this guy can be a problem too though. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, that's a nice name. 
<laughs> Traded a demon for a girl. Alright. Alright, break him. Slow him down. Dude, Shadow Demon's ultimate's too good, right? Shoot him. Right. Punch is so tanky. All those punches are getting on my nerves. I never heard. Everybody has a punch. Shoot him down. What if a Nexus didn't have armor? Would that be better? Hmm. That could also be a factor too. I do want a Nexus to like summon like his uh, creeps lost sword to too. Chaotic Hunter. I'm not gonna sell for economy, am I? Mm, I could, but I don't want to, right? Hmm, Alright. Triad. Triad could be nice. What if she had wheel? She would be a bicycle. <laughs> cool. I guess I could also add in four heartless since I do have like a three heartless at the moment. For mid game, of course. I do want to find my warrior upgrades too. One off each. I still remember the day Punch was in jail was a good day. I like those days. Dude. Dazzle and Witch Doctor should not be jailed. It should be punches. Punch is jailed tomorrow for sure. <laughs> then jail him every day, guys. I'm leveling up to raise the odds of me finding a tier 4 unit. The basic rules can matter too. So leveling really is not that bad. It also makes my underlord a bit stronger too. <laughs> what can we find here? Vanguard. Perfect. Vanguard actually has more value, I think, than Helvian Dying. I could put you in with Vanguard, actually. Have him heal my team. Level up. Perfect. Slark. These are not good choices. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're severely under upgraded to a degree, but if we lose, we can get the reroll anyways. Dude, they also need to do something about the wind streakers too. Hmm. Wind streaking so efficiently. Tide is all right. Arc born a bunch though. I honestly think it'd be better if they made the matchmaking more t like you're more likely to match against wind streakers if you have a wind streaker hero or something like that. I think a factor like that could be really good. Throw it. Your ends here. Okay. Oh, cool. Good job, bud. <laughs> that was really weird. Alright. We're fighting really well this fight. Heal them before they die. Good. Trian's getting value too. Alright. These are some really good fights, alright. Dude. If your if your other opponents can't reduce the win streaks, you can do it yourself. No more win streak for you, bro. Get out. All right. Whew. Finally. Just for guys, a hero. XD. Just take their um. Just take their um. What you call it? Win streaks away yourself. If other people don't do it for you. I think the tree did well too. Having a punch in the front like this is pretty nice, isn't it? Actually, what if I give Pudge the Vanguard? Hmm. You're out. Obviously, this one's stronger, so let's put you here. My can. Let's make LC board for one game. <laughs> Maybe. I do want these pairs to be solved, though. Alchemist is a really strong um, early late like, game individual unit. Maybe I should give Vanguard to the Pudge and Shamel to the tree. My army will not mm, good job, Pudge. That might be better. Mm, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Like, Pudge would be unkillable now that I think about it. But he's already unkillable, right? But Trian's not taking any damage. What the? <laughs> Stop taking zero damage, bro. Pudge is, still Pudge is already invincible. Hmm. That <laughs> punch ran so fast this round. Oh, punch! 
You can survive. No. See, Vanguard was saved the fudge. All right. He'll make the LC board once he lord, he promised, of course. I do keep promises. Not really much incentive to go for that. Right, so hunters, I mean. Mm -hmm. You will always be my best new guy, okay. Thankfully, I'm getting a win streak too, so I might be able to catch up in terms of economy if I keep on winning like this. I actually like a Nexus here, huh? This position is kind of nice if you have a good front lineup. Oh, Brutes? Ooh -hoo. I want to go for this one, this game. Oh, now Trina has a lot of squishy up. Okay. Oh, he's healing. <laughs> We're all healing. All right, we're killing their backline one by one. That's good. Slaughter is getting infinite value. My healing is out of Charcia. Magnus is being really strong too. Oh, he had a Hood of Defiance. That's why he didn't take any magic damage there. Chaotic Hunter does a lot of damage too, right? I guess Chaotic Hunter is really good with Warriors. Like, look at the Nexus damage, dude. How can this be compared with Hopchin? Hopchin does less damage than this. With zero healing. <laughs> Oh man, early game, dude. I want to try to come with both Magnus and Ogre Magic for maximum buff one these days. Dude, I want to make that one too. That sounds ridiculously fun, right? Oh, they're win streaking again. We gotta get them. Oh, these guys are lost streaking now, huh? Sniper will always be valuable. Who is the key? Oh, I mean the Demon Hunter, so I'm sorry. Chaotic Hunter is a passive ability. The first one here, it says Chaotic Hunter round 10. A Nexus Companion gains a 25% chance of quickly performing one extra attack. It can ramp up like crazy in those like in these like long lasting fights. Ogre Magi and LC. I think Treon is an okay choice too. Like I can just take the Treon out for maybe a sniper. But I think it's fine. Hopchin relies on auto attack damage and five hours cast spell. <laughs> Nexus don't attack and all. <laughs> go, go, Valva. I know, right? You're right, a Nexus having zero like um cast speed is like a factor. Um, Shadow Shaman, can you um, chill a bit? <laughs> wow, that hurts. Does he have Octreens or something? Like, what the? I was actually surprised there. Dude, Shadow Shaman, chill. <laughs> wow, Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman actually destroyed me there. I couldn't heal because um, it got X instantly. Uh, next is all the way. Dude, that guy's strong. These two have so much economy. What the? <laughs> This guy is understandable since he lost like crazy, but come on. Right. Real bruiser rip, real bruiser rip. You know, maybe you're maybe you're out. And now we oh nice. The break them. Maybe you're out. This is Oh, sniper was better because of scrap user. Alright, forgot about that. Don't worry, we don't need real bruiser. You roll once. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is for Heartless, though. Hmm. If I had these two in, there's no way that's worth it, right? <laughs> Alchemist should be better with Scrappies. I'd rather have put a third Hunter in. I miss my Lycan now. Shao Shan very underrated. The special with HP buff draws stronger, Hiss is more valuable. Yeah, and if it hexes something like a Nexus, your opponent can't heal, right? Since it can't charge type the entire duration of the fight, like Shadow Shaman is really good against these Underlords. For sure. <coughs> I could go for 4 Heartless soon, but I don't think I have to. Oh, Wind Ranger, right. Mask of Madness, Maelstrom, Octrinosis. Octrinosis can be really good. Maelstrom should be the safest choice for now. I don't want Mask of Madness, I think. I, I think uh, uh, Maelstrom could be like better than. Time to shore things up. Mm -hmm. Life sucker. Get out. 
Is Sniper the only one who can use the Thousand Veil? Sniper, Arc Warden, Gyrocopter are the best ones. You can also use units like Lina, Geranger, Crystal Maiden because they do have long range too. They have range of 4. Sniper hits the entire map. Oh, he has Lycan too, sorry. This one's strong. Formidable. Alright, hook the Underlord though. Nice. Oh, it went off though. That's not good. His sniper shot my sniper. No. This guy's really strong. He has Mask of Madness with this um, Arc Warden as well. That's really strong. Ouch. Hopchin does not deal magic damage. Remove him. XD. Mm -hmm. People are finding Arc Warrens now. Huh? Three people found them. Wow. <laughs> I also consider the um, Octarines as sincere. I felt like that would have been really nice. He has Mask of Madness on Jur Ranger, not the other one. <laughs> A free axe. Yep. Mask of Madness was on Dre Ranger. That is correct. I'll probably level up next round too. I might sell the Shadow Fiends instead then. Wind Range is a very weak hunter to add in, but Dre Ranger can carry me for a while. Level up here. Sold. I could just sell the tree as well. No. Barricade placement. Alright. Hopefully we can shoot down the um, Underlord in time. Alright. Good. We did. That Chaotic Hunter was dangerous too. Heal them all. Good. On level 10, if you have one alliance, your chance to get an ace is 6 plus. I'm sorry, um, H. Machado, what? Six times 0 0.15? I don't exactly understand that equation. What's it about? I don't understand, guys. Help me, help me. What is that equation about? The 15% extra is a 15% of 6. Are there 6 5 costumes in the game? If you're talking about 6 um, of the 5 costumes, then yes. Right. What? The, the calculation is just um, really random, so <laughs> I was like trying to realize what that was. <laughs> it doesn't raise odds of finding a tier 5 unit, if that's what you're asking. I think that was the end point, right? Dude, I was running away. <laughs> Shoot that bubble. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to run away there. I was. Oh, it doesn't change the odds. It doesn't change the odds against tier 5 units at all. You have the same odds, it's just that amongst those tier 5 units, the odds you find that peculiar, like, um, unit just raises. Oh man. I gotta kill this fast. All right, dude, that that hunter did so much damage there. What the? 10k. I should reposition. They're all positioned around this in this lane. Oh, well, we get a free reroll for that. We don't. We didn't take too much damage either, which I do enjoy. Slardar. Getting a free Sardar feels good. I wonder how my sniper got up there instead of the um you. Maybe she moved. Insects. Hi baby, I've been running your four troll builds to get great effects. Oh, congratulations, bro. 
If you're getting great effects, that's amazing to hear, man. Alright. Oh, our forms do so much damage. We're not really outnumbered, but... Oof, look at that. Oh, he has two art wardens, that's why. Okay. Okay, I shot the wrong one. I wonder why he didn't shoot the slaughter there. I could have killed the slaughter, right? Oof, art wardens are so scary to fight against. How do I get the blue health bars? Oh, it's colorblind mode. Go to settings. Go to video. And there's colored blind mode right here. Yeah, arc wards are really scary, aren't they? They do so much damage. No problem, what's up? Happy tell. Hmm. Honestly, six warriors sounds okay this game, but it should be too late to look for six warriors right now, right? Oh, happy incidents. This is a really nice unit to put in. Don't need you anymore, I can just add you in. Oh man, if only I had a better hunter than um, Wind Ranger. Trapped her Wind Ranger so she won't get much. No, I don't need Pudge here. Uh, you. Alright, this is better. Raise the odds of finding a tier 5 unit. BB is best. Oh, thank you very much for sure for 200 kish Duggas. You think it's worth run hunters like this even if they're not upgraded? Um, it's better than putting nothing in because I need something that does damage. I wasn't offered anything else that can do damage, right? So the alternative was nothing. So of course I would rather have upgraded stuff, but upgraded timber saw, upgraded sword, they won't do anything for me, right? All right. Oh, all right. Not really a good item considering I'm a smuggler, but no. Is LC still useless? Yep, that is correct. Very hard to use. I would say very hard to use instead of useless. It's the same phrase, but a bit different. I'm kind. I'm kind of weak at the moment, so you know what? Let's roll a bit. Laundered. Laundered IO combi. Mm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Take these two out. And this might be better. I wonder if it is better though. Not 100% sure. Six warriors. Is six warriors better? I would like something upgraded. I don't want to like overinvest. I need at least 20 gold. Right, let's go. Mm, this is worth it. Good. Oh, he has Axe 3 star. A bit early. Hmm, Faceless Void has good stats at this stage of the game, thank god. Oof, it got doomed. Dude, Axe 3 star is tanky. Oh! <laughs> Io! Good job, boy. Everybody freeze! Good job, team. Best damn stories are hunters, trolls, and arcor in this patch. Yep, you can also add stuff like gyrocopters, bristleback, and loan to that, like, all this as well. KOTL and DK sh are also, like, viable, I guess. Ayopagu, I know, right? Ayopagu. We actually have uh, three primordials here, too. I'm surprised that Faces Void is a primordial and nothing else. It's kind of surprising. I still level tonight, yep. Mm hmm. Should I just try to eco up na back now? I think I'll go for more value comps instead. Oh man, I really want a better hunter than Wind Ranger, but I feel like that's just too greedy to look for at the moment. My damage source is only Dr Ranger with hmm, hmm, awkward. This guy's a full economy. 
Oh, he has four Arc Wardens. Oh, man, that's not good. Because that also does a lot of damage to people, too. Okay, Wind Streaker. Two snipers. All right, frozen. You can freeze them, too. Look out for Eidolons. <laughs> snipers shoot snipers, don't they? The best target would be... Hmm. Alright. Dude, this faceless voice carrying me pretty hard. I like it. It's really, really hard carrying me right now. Is Wind Ranger bad because the one? It doesn't really do that much damage. And dude, this faceless void is just carrying me, period. There's nothing more to it than that. Wow. This is how strong this is, huh? It also I'm surprised how much AD it has. 155? That's sniper level. Boy, one star beats two star. I, I know, right? Yeah. All right, we can eat up a bit, thank God. Uh, we'll have to chill for a while, though. Oh, Alchemist. Okay. In this scenario, we can do something like this. Like, we can take out the IO, but we can keep the Lone Drift for the bear. And that's actually a lot more value. We can give this to Alchemist now. We can show him all you. I'll give gloves to you, actually. All right. I want Sawyer's old pasta. I think that's better. I think this is better. Oh, Light Can. Alright. <laughs> Economy. <laughs> oh, man. Wait. Something's gonna get pulled. Whoops. Whoops. What's this song? Whoops. Whoops. Abort. Abort. Here it is. Oh, did he hook Faceless Void? Alright. Alchemist provides a lot of damage, like support, to my composition. So adding Alchemist isn't really that bad. Killed it. Good. This is the uh, strong one with two Arc Wars, huh? Ooh. Shoot him. That's the original. Good. Alright. We beat him. We also broke the streak. That's good. Oh, <laughs> no problem, Lissa. Alright, thank god. Whew. Shoot him down. We broke his streak too, that's fantastic. Let's keep E going back up, we don't need a Kunkka in this comp. We're probably not gonna go for like 6 Hunters, because everybody usually goes for Exploit weakness, weakness. Enigma, Lycan, ooh la la. With Io, that was 4 Primordials, huh? Interesting. I put Lycan in for the, uh, for the Savage Synergy. It's small, but it's actually something sometimes. Um, who do I want to get hooked? I can let Lonedrick get hooked. I can let Lycan get hooked too. All right. Because Lycan's a one star anyways, right? Let's just buy this for now, just in case. We're not going to use it, but let's just buy it. Alright, face this one in action again. Oh wait. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. You can't charge hype because of the um, um the um assassin's bail on sniper. Good fight team, good fight. Dude, face this void is carrying me really hard, right? They're, dude, like wow. I'm just surprised how like um impactful it is. I thought I had no carries this game. But that one faceless voice allowed me to win streak and wreck everybody else's streaks too. Is your Ranger Aura for all eight all eight tiles around her? Yep, that is correct. You got it correct, sir. All eight tiles around the Dur Ranger will get the buff. That is the definition of one cell. Everything here. Alright. Wow, this is how strong face was looking me huh? Void is big. I know, right, dude. Void is amazing. Now we can actually consider level 10 soon. Alright. Which is pretty nice. Being able to level like this is a blessing. Exploit weakness, of course. Everybody goes for exploit weakness. Phantom Pain? Your army gains armor while somebody's pained. Hmm, they won't be able to use that. The reason why they won't be able to use that is because I don't like Assassin's Bill. So so there's no way it's gonna like um Well it can, but it's very unlikely to get the value. Maybe I can wait one fight. Like you need to get hype in order to use that. You need to get at least 40 a uh, 50 hype to get the fan pain effect. But with Assassin's Veil, it's very unlikely. Does Jur Ranger ability buff herself too? 
Let's see. Yep, it does, it seems. She gets the extra attack right here, right? <laughs> Everybody's frozen. Level up, yes or no? Hmm. Could I not Sand King? Let's force levels. Let's let's make my underlord stronger. It makes my underlord stronger, right? And I can just go for another sniper anyways. Two snipers are better than one. 12 hours left for jail. Scotty. Oh, these are all bad items. I don't think there's a single mage in this game. So I guess the only thing that makes sense is either Scotty or Scythe. Let's go for Scythe. You can Scythe that frontline unit. Well, Bristle back. I do have four established potential. But I have no items for Bristle back, right? I think a second sniper might be better in terms of value. Or maybe a Sand King. Sand King might be good too. Lycan is locked. XD. And he better stay locked too. If he escapes, I'm in trouble. Oh. This guy's pretty strong. Faceless Void actually missed there. There you are. Let's go. Oh man. <laughs> it's gonna ult again. His Underlord is actually ulting, huh? Maybe I need an Arc Worm myself. Don't let them establish a link. Okay. Woof! We're charging high faster. Let's go, team. Let's go. Summon the golem. Summon the golem. Let's go. Lycan's the most useless unit amongst my team, so I put it there. All right. Got one. Everyone plays Pudge and Drill. Everybody plays Pudge and Drill. That's correct. Everything else does something, right? But Lycan's the only thing that doesn't do anything. So, we're just using it as a bait for the uh, punch hooks. All right. Oh, a three-star Magnus guy just died. Poor him. That must have been amazing, right? I see now. XD. Mm-hmm. Let's eco. We have HP, so we can sacrifice some HP. Let's just try to eco back up a bit. I don't think anybody's like ridiculously strong yet. Oh, somebody else has a void now. It's gonna be Void Wars. Ooh. Alright. Reposition for that. Didn't get him though. Oh, Io came back. Nice. Yeah, I always better than Sand King. Whoa, 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 is he? <laughs> Sand King does such a good job there. Wait, is he? Wait, this voice so strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sand King, wait, stop performing so well. Darn it. I feel so sad about the meta. This game needs a bear balance to be fun again. That is understandable. Sand King, why are you trying to prove me wrong in front of my viewers? Boy. I'm putting him here so that the guy, this guy has a faceless void on on the um, right corner, right? It means that's gonna be here. Maybe it can jump straight forward. It can still jump here when, which, which would be problematic. But baby, why units gets constantly silenced? Am I landing past something? It might have been a demon, or it might have gotten like um, wrecked by Hopchun. Both are viable, right? Lonedred and Arc Warden. We finally found the Arc. This could be good too. No, let's keep it on you. Disruptor is not necessary. Like the silence, the AOE silence doesn't last that long anyways. Huh. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. XD. Eat her hype. 
Sniper is the best um, hype eater in the game. Look at that. It can't heal anything. Oh, wait, it heals something. Darn it! <laughs> Sniper, why you prove me wrong? <laughs> Sniper trying to prove me, uh, me wrong in every way, doesn't he? That's right, it's a demon. At least baby's always fun to watch. Oh, thank you very much, Poofoots. Alright, the meta is good stuff with six assassins with a few outliners mages. That's correct. That's a good um, narration. Oh, what's up, Chaos Plan? How did this find name out? Ark? Ark is doing a good job, right? I think Sniper is a better target for these, like, um... Uh, we can roll twice here, I think. We should look for three stars, too. Once. Mirana. Mirana should have that better value than you. I still need a unit here. Maybe I'll put an Alchemist here, then. Don't think I need Lycan anymore. Also. Mm, this time I don't have Sand King. Let's see if that makes a difference. Mm, he's charging really slowly. Freeze. Alright. Oh, my sniper got doomed. Right. The bear has a lot of value as an individual unit. I don't think you need a 10 armor and those low tier warriors. That could be true too, since I do have the lone druid. That's a very good argument. Like, do I need these warriors? Like, especially these weak warriors, like tiny. I definitely don't need tiny, right? So maybe going for more like um, higher value units could be a better idea. Like keeping the sand can get them there too. Like, like why, why would I need these two? I mean, these two here are disposable, right? I needed this. A Sand King 2 star or something like that could be better. Whenever it's killed, it takes damage, now targets two enemies. I, I went for the break trait, right? I think I went for break. I can break people. So at least I'm at 50 gold now. Now I can start rerolling the excess gold. One star art, 19k, da uh, 9k damage. Yep, that's what happens. We saw a smuggler, so we can maybe find a tier 5 item too. Let's see, we don't need anything here. Let's show. We're just slowly transitioning our comp to something better. I could just all in right now for a power boost too. Like, it is a bit early if I do that. But it might be better to save HP. Like, do I want to give them time to make a comeback? No, I don't want to give them time, I think. Troll Warlord, Necrophos. No, I don't have space for Necrophos. Troll's fine. In which case, I can decide to add in, um... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think I want to roll a bit so I can find at least some 4 cost upgrades. Alright. Yes, I do want to roll a bit. I, uh, I want to roll a lot. Rapier's gonna go on Arc Warden after she gets upgraded. I'm not gonna put him, uh, put it on, put it on him until he, um, until I upgrade him. Arc Warden. So let's chill. I can still lose a fight until I like um find the upgrade. So I'm gonna keep on rolling until that particular moment. Mm. Alright. Summon the bear. Good. You could also argue that I might lose a fight because I didn't equip it. That's also like viable too. But I wanna be more safe on my choices. Alchemist for Sardar. No, I think like two alchemists is good enough too. Oh, you died too fast. Let's put the Underlord bit in the back. Yep. See, I would have just lost my like um, rapier here if I was strong enough, right? What's the slick guy in this fight name, man? I did all in for a few four cost upgrades. Shame that they didn't show up. Woof. We're close now. No troll synergy. Do I have something I can take out for trolls? Is this better? This could be better too. 
So we gotta make sure we keep our like our rapier. I'm surprised we find a Murano too. Muranos usually aren't contested like this. I also need to check their battle power if I decide to like um, go for that play too. Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. Alright. Mm, we'll take damage, it's fine. Put you a bit more in the back. Here. Oris, are you better than Troll? Mm, that's also arguable. So we'll only use the rapier when we have to. <laughs> we don't want to throw away our good advantage, right? <laughs> Alright, good ults. Shoot the Underlord down one by one. Sniper, like usually, like she ults after um sniper like wastes charge. Huh? No mm, that's how it works. I think I would have won this if I had a rapier. Right. Oh, nice, good throw. All right, let's get him. Oh, I still won XD. <laughs> Got him. When am I gonna use rapier? When I have to. Maybe when it becomes a one v one situation, why check the battle power? Like you don't want to use rapier when you're gonna lose a fight, right? That would be the worst way to use a rapier, right? Because you're just making you just be making your opponent stronger. So when I become the strongest, like when I feel like confident, then I can use the rapier. Alchemist too. Wow. Well. These alchemist baits. <laughs> yes, Econ would have given me like more rolls, but I wanted to um, make the game like um, progress a bit faster. So, and I thought I could find at least one two star. I was looking for like one upgrade here. <laughs> I thought I could find one, but I guess I couldn't. It's a win more item. Yeah. When I'm the strong, when I'm at my strongest, I can use this item. But until then, I have to wait. Oh, jump to here. I guess maybe it's because like alchemist walks. Maybe it's because Alchemist walked. That could be a factor too. Oof. Dude, those snipers are doing work. Right. Let's see. Now 34 soon. Just see a few more upgrades. One more rapier incoming. <laughs> Put one here then. Maybe it walks towards a long range unit. Let's try that again. <laughs> I wasn't offered a single Titan today though. That's not good. Marana. The time has come for Marana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alc 3 star is a pog, I know, right? We need to wait until we found Alchemist um, Arcborn 2 star at least before we use like Rapier. That guy has a gyrocopter and um, sniper, it means that he has a dead ice energy. So I have to wait for it to happen. Let's go. That's a good position. Heals. Trust and be rewarded. See, like, this break effect is why Warrior Surge is not as impactful as it used to be. That's why it's better to go for three Warriors instead of six. Let's get so far. Yep. One guy left. Rapier Marana now. Arc Warden will be the choice once we use Rapier. And we have to win with it, too. Alright, round 35. <laughs> Making the game a lot more complicated, right? Veil Void. Maybe, but like my opponents can abuse that too. What if they like isolate their underlord from their team? After they notice it, right? That's also like abusable. Right. 
I should not have bought these alchemists. <laughs> oh, dude, the bait is so delicious, though. It's down to 1v1, yep. The baits are really delicious. He has a lot of 1-stars, too. But he has two Titan. He might get a Titan turn Medusa already. That's not good for me. Mm, we'll have to see, though. Two times baited Alk, yep. Bait by the Alk two times. Let's go, team. Let's go. You missed. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we can't use rapier this fight, I guess. Can you explain why your pieces are spread around the map the way I do? Yeah. It's very simple. They're spread out because I want them to be spread out. That's for measure, sorry. Desperate measure is fine too. Oh, finally. Is this good enough or should I wait more? Should I wait more or is this good enough? Let me see. I'm still not going to use it yet, because I want to see how the fight goes. Is it going to jump to you? Let's see what jumps to you. Why do I want punch red? For a faceless void. Alright. On the right side. Alright. He's gonna go off as soon as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Just watch how the fight progresses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This fight. <laughs> I don't know if I can win with the rapier. I guess I'll take one more damage. I'll take damage one more round. I need one more. Alchemist. I need to find this thing too. All right. I'll I'll find one once more. I think that'd be nice. All right. Alchemist and rapiers are big mistakes in the game, maybe. I can't wait once more. Yep. That's it. Mm hmm. Alright. Got it. If we take damage or desperate measures, it makes me a bit stronger. And now we can, like, um, arc in the um, rapier. Give yeah, arc in the rapier, I mean. Alright, this should be good enough. I think this is just good enough. Mm hmm. Now, I, I think I'll still lose, though. We took the maximum amount of damage we can't afford to take. So, let's just hope we can find this thing now. We don't need these two. Let's roll for this. And now that we took enough damage, we can give this to you. Give this to you, maybe. Uh, so, I want a scythe. Tidenta. It's only for Tidenta. There you are. Alright. Now I'm gonna do... Let's put Medusa in the front. Wait, what? Fourth. That's interesting. That should be it. This is fine. It walks right in the middle. Yep. Alchemist is well protected this way too. Good. Alright, much better. So this is when you use Rapier. When you're at your strongest. Alright. This is when Rapier has value.
<laughs> the mysteries of the ocean. It's found troll too. position oh that's good all right he isolated his medusa that's really good for me alchemist will be taking more damage but we can actually destroy the left flank a lot easier that way and this way the alchemist actually takes damage for me too good oh are we really squishy all right tiny throat good we're summoning we're summoning All right, close. Summon, all right, get him. All right, got him. Too close though. I could say one round for 50G maybe. Hmm. Arc one got melted too faster. Hmm. That's not good. Perhaps it's time to show them something new. <sighs> my front line is so squishy, dude. Just focusing on my right side. Okay. If you have the Assassin Veil Dead Eye, which one goes first? Assassin Veil should play first, right? I don't know, actually. <laughs> right here, number two, maybe. We do have Smuggler, so we might be able to get something. But he has Smuggler, too, which is scary. Oh, he took out his Faceless, I think. Wait, did he have faceless? Yeah, he took out his faceless. That's why he was a bit stronger there. Since his faceless didn't get much value. All right. Does he have tide hunter? Wait, he took out tide hunter as well. Oh wow, that's strange. There's no escaping. So there's a way to deal with this son. Yeah, warlock for elk tank this maybe. I can't believe um he he um took them all out. All right, so there's actually a very easy way to deal with that. Scotty, oh, Shiva's guard. Right, Shiva's guard sounds nice, actually. I saw your ass, right? Tide Hunter. Darn it, we'll find it. So if he positions the same, I can actually just like um, reposition them. Alright. Give this to you, maybe this. And the repositioning is actually very simple. Hmm. Alright. Right. We can just group up. This can happen because he took out all these CCs and Medusa's gonna do nothing in the back here. Yep. Alright. We can just group up this way. The only reason why we weren't grouping us was because of his like uh, faceless voids. But since he like got rid of them, we can just group up all on the side. And his um like troll warlord and moose will have a lot less value because it's all up on the um, right side doing nothing right. Nah, that was simple for me. That's why you have to wait until like um they like what he wanted to do was he wanted to focus down my alchemist first and destroy my right side. But if he does that, then I can just reposition it all to the left and win the game. Alright. Uh, GG guys.